Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at a generative design using topology optimization in ANSYS Discovery. And we're going to do it on this automotive assembly that you see here in the screen. Now we're often looking for parts for weight reduction in scenarios like this. And this one in the viewer here looks like one we're going to select for today's study. Often bulky or square components are prime candidates that you can look to optimize. And a good way to start is to generate a larger volume, which we then allow the algorithm a clean slate with which to do its work. So the one we've got here contains uh, some packaging constraints and also contains the original axle locations. And then we're just going to apply some forces that we have from an FEA uh, recent study. This one is a force applied to the axle. And these are the bolt location positions. These are going to be fixed supports. Now there's lots of options for topology optimization. We'll just be maximizing stiffness using default settings. We'll briefly mention the other options when we solve. We'll have a quick tweak of the uh, accuracy slider down here at the bottom, and then we can be on our way. Now, as this solution proceeds, we've sped this up about 20 times. It takes approximately 10 minutes to get to the end of this one. You can see that uh, we're just using one set of loads here, but Discovery can accept multiple load cases as part of the same generative design study. We also can apply uh, manufacturing constraints, some of which we didn't consider here, but these would include things like pull direction, table direction, thickness values, and uh, overhang protection. And the beauty of the way this works is that we can generate entirely new shapes that we could never have really imagined. Now, some of these shapes, are, they're not exactly conventional and 3D printing is one gateway to actually producing some of these directly. But don't forget that you also have a full geometry toolbox from which you can build standard shape parts. So you can use a study like this as design inspiration for uh, an improved design. As we reach the end here, you can see we have a, a new shape. Now what you can do with this shape is you can convert this to a faceted uh, meshed geometry, as we're going to see here on the right. Once you click that, you can generate a body which can then be further smoothed if you wish. And with a single right click that you'll see here, we can also convert this straight to a 3D CAD as well, so we can share this part with somebody else. So this is now a standard CAD part. We can plug this straight back in to do a standard analysis and just verify that it meets our requirements. And in this case, we've generated something that has met the requirements and has saved ourselves a lot of material.